Well, I was sitting at home studying, and uh, it was such a lovely day. I couldn't stand it anymore. I wanted to uh, come out and go hiking. So this is part of the Finger Lakes Trail right here in my backyard. Let's see if I can show you. This is Sand Gravel Road. And it's about 34 degrees. It's a nice nippy time of year. I just heard a gunshot. It is deer season. I hope I don't get shot. So here is Finger Lakes Trail. And uh, it goes up this steep bank here. And I just packed uh, my twig stove because I've been wanting to play with that recently. So uh, I am going to find a nice spot for a hot lunch. Make a little twig stove fire. I brought my tablet to, uh, to do some reading. And uh, just enjoy a little hot lunch and get a little hike in today. I'll uh, check back with you when I find Find a good sunny spot. This is nice. Oh baby, I am out of shape, but this is lovely. Not since I climbed Mount Marcy at the end of June have I been out hiking, really. Did one overnight with Gracie. And, uh, that wasn't too bad, but listen to me pant after doing that uphill. I really need to do better. So, maybe some winter hiking. Oh, there she is. And one of those famous guys trying to do things one-handed. There's the, one of the burn chambers. And I'll be right back. Okay, this piece drops down into that piece like that. And you just put your top on like that and away she'll go. Let me show you how I load it up now. All right, I have gathered just some sticks. And uh, here's uh, the burn chamber. So what I like to do is uh, get as much vertical sticks lined up in here as I can. And then light my fire on top of this and it'll burn. It's supposed to burn down from the top. So we shall show you when it's full. Okay. She's full. I put a cotton ball in there. And... Uh, this top fire will catch, and pretty soon it'll be burning down. So now, I'm gonna put some water in the pot. I feel like just like one of them video guys. You can see it, but the flames are jetting out of the little holes around the top and just give me a clean burning, smokeless fire. And I've got a timer going to see how long it takes to boil all my water. I have no idea even how much I put in, but there's a good shot of it. Just a beautiful thing. Listen to the merry sound of water beginning to boil. It's a bit of a breeze. You can see the flames getting thrown to the side. I put a wind block up. Definitely would help. I have one. I didn't bring it with me today. But I do have just some tin foil I've put together or an old turkey pan thing. Works great. Cheapo, way to go. $7 Kmart grease pot and this El Cheapo Chinese stove. Weighs 14 ounces, which is a little heavy, but not bad at all. 
because you don't have to uh, you don't have to carry fuel. Look at that rolling boil under six minutes. Beautiful. Soup time, here we come. You can see that flame is just a roaring. Got my soup cooking, water cooling for coffee, but just, I love this stuff. So amazing. All right, this was a little unfortunate to have forgotten my pot holder, but uh, got some water going for coffee here. Yeah, good old uh, Folgers Coffee Singles. I like them the best. So, uh, we'll talk to you later. Well, now I'm ready to go. But I'm going to have to wait for these coals to cool down. So that's, uh, if you're in a hurry, you don't want to use one of these stoves. If I'd use my Pocket Rocket clone, I'd be in and out quick and done. So... If you want to play in the woods with fire, these are great, but they do take time, they do take some attention. But the way I had it on there, it was still roaring at 10 minutes in. I boiled my water probably over two cups, almost three in six minutes, uh, which is just amazing. So it's good for that. Hard to keep going after that though. Once that main part burns down, if you want to keep boiling more water, my suggestion is let it get all the way burned down, then stuff it full again and let it get back fully going. Because just feeding it a stick at a time is a pain. So, good stove, but not without its challenges. One last comment. If you're a leave no trace person, you got to be mighty careful where you set these stoves. They will burn hot underneath. So, no way to avoid that. So, do it on the ground. This is an old stump. I wasn't too worried about it. I guess I'm not a environmentalist. But uh, also put a flat stone under it. That's what I usually do. So, yeah. Okay, we are going to head out on this beautiful day. And uh, catch you later. Good to spend some time with you. See you later.